<coughs> All right, uh, very good day to you. Uh, thanks for waiting, guys. Uh, <coughs> sorry about that. All right. So uh, over the weekend, I've been recording all the training videos and, and stuff like that. Um, so glad to share that. In 2018, we actually have a breakthrough to be able to trade a foreign exchange market. So, and that can be done within a day. So it's a huge breakthrough. Um, and that session we are running at uh, 1598 USD. So, um, in this COVID-19, I understand that a lot of people is uh, stay at home and maybe at the verge of losing their job or right now they have nothing to do or they are worried they are losing, going to lose their job. Um, what you can do is actually point them to our this, uh, trade ideas. So as long as they are an active subscriber and if they subscribe now, they will able to receive um, the um, online training forever. Um, yeah, so it was only just the three ideas, and right now we have included this fantastic uh, software that you can see over here. Uh, it works from uh, TradingView and MetaTrader 4 and 5. Personally, I would recommend that uh, you use it on your MetaTrader 4 and 5 that you are trading with your broker. All right, so it is not broker specific. You can trade with any um, brokers and it can be used. All right, so let us uh, get going and get started. All right. So on the, the daily chart on euro dollar, it is right now on a sideway increase volatility movement. Okay, so meaning to say that it is um right now have a market expansion and right now going to a sideway consolidation. So um the prevailing trend or rather the trend that's running the entire movement over here is not junk actually, it is actually very very nice later i can plot this um trend line for you to see very very um it follows a a, a clear pattern and, and stuff on the end is tradable so although right now the market do not have a direct or rather a distinct trend uh, based off the daily chart um, but on the same time frame you can see that with a bigger bearish candle and overall it's more black and white the overall strength is a bit tilted towards the shorting opportunity. The 24 hour chart, uh, we can see that uh, this is the spike high and this is recognized by the software. Um, we have a bearish movement, a retracement and came back down and which move. So some traders will say, hey, it's going bullish, what? All right, on this time frame, definitely not because um, first on the 24 hour, we have not have a distinctive trend yet because this is the one that break the high as well as breaking the low okay so we need a break and close below the low price but see what happened um either neither the high or low was broken so right now it's still on a consolidation period so we can't say definitely there's a trend but it's tilted towards the bearish side as i've mentioned earlier on on the daily chart you can judge by the numbers of black and white candles on my chart and the length of it all right down to the one hour chart uh, on the one hour chart this is what we have a one hour chart is a very different story this is the last leg of the bearish movement see the pattern plot by itself fantastic all right so right now we spotted a pattern without us even drawing it all right but guys focus on here first yeah so this is the last bearish movement so this is the previous high Market break at and close above the high, the high, and over here as well, over here as well. So on the one hour chart, it is on a bullish trend. Down to the daily chart, uh, let me just share with you my analysis. My analysis is that uh, there is a potential um gutly pattern, as promised just now. Um, I did talk about this uh, consolidation over here. Can see? Oops. What happened? Let me just hide it again. All right. From here to here. This is one of the consolidation level. Okay. And the other one is, have you spotted it yet? This level. So as it consolidate, it will definitely um, meet meaning you say that it will definitely break out as well 
So one thing that is for sure for um, traders is once the market consolidates, it will definitely have a breakout. So you just have to wait. Um, let me just extend this a bit uh, and we will see the relevance uh, in other time frame as well. Okay, And we will hide it on the time frame that it doesn't make sense. Uh, on this 4 hour, it's even nicer and better, uh, much clearer to a lot of traders. You may do a bit of fine adjustment, but that's about it. When you go to the 1 hour, don't do any more adjustment. Yeah? So a gradient, a normal gradient is between um 25 degrees there about okay so you know that it's not good seems like it fit in perfectly as well okay it's the first target and heading uh, towards the second and it's when it's near the second target it starts to have this crap pattern okay it's not the crap it's crap pattern so it is a good consideration always um it is a good practice to actually trace the pattern out all right I'm waiting for okay um as long as the market have not reached the first target which is here okay and you can see how nicely these trade actually set up this uh as we say that the entire trend is a bullish trend um it is for a buying opportunity uh, or rather buyers they are riding on the trend however it doesn't mean that you cannot short so in this example i find that it's pretty perfect in this setup because of this uh, interesting thing. Have you spotted why? You want to key in the answer on the view? All right. As you are keying in, like do it right now because there's a bit of latency. Um, so I won't spill my answer. I will not wait if not the waiting time will be too long. Um, just key, key that in. Okay. So what's nice about this is because of consolidation. So consolidation, it will always break out. And once it's break out, let's say I'm looking for a straight line. Make sense? Okay, so if I zoom out a bit and see the relevance of this uh, trend line, it is still relevant in a way that I do not have a lot of candle even on a one hour time frame, three time frame away. Um, it doesn't just um, cutting it um, and breaking it and flirting with the trend line, which is what I like about it. So what I can do over here, I can first uh, do a right click over here, add an alert. So in fact, over here, there's already um, one, two, three trading opportunity or rather three different trading ideas. So I'll spend a bit longer time over here. Um, yeah, and I'm break. So this is one way of uh, waiting for the break of trend line and retracement to trade towards the direction of the break. Um, and of course, over here, so the color will swap anyway. Um, so right click over here and set an alert. Um, and this will be the same alert. So I did a copy and paste. Okay, perfect. So once I have this break, uh, I will know what to do. Um, and for me, I pretty color coded uh, blue for buying opportunity. Okay, maybe it's too light. Do something slightly darker. All right. And um, or rather, and um, over here, opportunity. All right. So first idea is waiting for a break and close above the high, or break and close below the low, a retracement and trade towards that direction. That's one. So once I set this alert and I paste in this um, secret code, or rather, for those that are more packy, will be known as the web code. Um, it is linked to my subscriber group. So once uh, this is done, um. They will receive this alert. So uh, I will be sharing with them um, all these shortcuts. What does it mean? Um, as for now, 4H is stand for crap pattern. Uh, CB stand for check back, uh, not circuit breaker. Yeah. So I'm waiting for you to come back up to the high uh, for a shorting opportunity. Um, and it is very, very tight. As you can see, I would still suggest that place stops over here uh, because you won't want to have um, the candle have a long shadow touch the stop loss and came down and that's when you will get very upset um the other trading method have you seen over here this yellow box is a buy zone 
So right now for buy zone and sell zone, I will yellow channel to actually symbolize it because I can set an alert on it. So once it touch these um, so uh, um, can anyone of you just key in the answer and share why you take profit at target one and why you take profit on target two? Why you take target one and why you take target two? The answer is very simple and it's actually very straightforward. Um, is we believe that there's a certain chance that is against us over here. So target one is um, if you watch any zombie ap ap apocalypse, uh, the storyline is all the same. Uh, basically, there's a zombie ap apocalypse and somehow a group of people survive. They will find, find a, after they found the safe house, they just get out of the safe house. And uh, that's when the story goes. So right house and reach my time. This is where um, that this is the place that everyone lives happily ever after. There's no zombie and stuff like that. So once it reached the, the target one, what I can do a bit different uh, from the zombie ap apocalypse is I can ensure that I will not die. All right. I can add in armor that's so thick that I will never die. Why? This is my starting point. All right. So I can shift my stop loss to my entry price. Got it? So once the market reached this price, I took uh, first target. And if it reverse against me, no profit, no loss, but it hit towards my um century um i will have this um level for this trade got it yep all right so that is a uh, euro dollar let me just hide the indicator so you will receive an indicator as long as you're active subscriber as well check out the link on the bottom right and, and click so and now uh, click try this package cut naked when you say that no indicators or minimum indicator um, and the amount is with my analysis. Okay, on the daily chart. Um, unlike Euro dollar, a very distinct trend, it is a, a bearish movement right now. Okay. But and close below the support okay and this is the second time all right so right now the market has uh moving towards a retracement to the previous high over here which i'm looking for a shorting opportunity uh for those who have took our trade on pound dollar and if you are still in the trade um uh, kudos to you um this is a trade that give you about uh, 1,200 pips, okay? So um, that, that is what trading is about, yeah. So um, this is also a point that I believe is a potential trend trading opportunity for people who are looking for shopping opportunity. So that is when I will look for my entry reasons um, or rather my entry rules to engage for a shopping opportunity. And of course the immediate target will be here, 12443. Um, it's a good uh, share repeat profit, all right. Also, another one will be at one two two zero eight. If you are not too adventurous, look left. There's a support level over here as well. Okay, so just two levels in this time is clear, closer to each other, but even that is two hundred bits apart. All right, so down to the four hour chart. Uh, on the four hour chart, you can see these um crazy undying uptrend movement even after a very long um, sideway consolidation and the first dip that happened. All right, so just wait out a bit to the next level high before for a shorting opportunity. All right, this is the one hour chart. A very, very bullish movement on the one hour is a bullish run on pound. So uh, back to the daily and let me share with you my analysis. My analysis on the daily chart there's this uh, bullish curve pattern. That's why we engage the trade. Huge profits, huge profits. Um, so waiting for another trading opportunity, waiting out right now. Um, down to the four hour chart, this is what we have. Market double bottom. Um, went all the way up, consolidate, break and close below, and continue to hit higher. 
Uh, even it break it close below and close below, it actually did not break the buy buying price. So it's pretty amazing. Um, down to the one hour chart. Okay, so um, trend line over here. Love it to go as close as the bottom. That means one point two five two seven as close as here. Um, one point two five two four as close as here. Maybe do a double bottom and stuff like that. Candle confirmation and head in for a buy. Okay. So, um, so if you are still waiting for a trading opportunity, it's fine. Just wait for a confirmation, uh, a retreat bar reversal to make sure that the trend still stand before engage the trade. Um, it's okay to miss, but not to enter a trade uh, that got you into a uh, what you call daily mode. Yeah, great. All right. So to the next pair, dollar yen. Um, dollar yen also a very interesting pair. So we have been making new highs over here. This was the previous high. Then if you trace upwards, this is a new high. Okay, and it keep on making high. So it was a bullish trend until this bearish movement happened. A bit like the euro dollar on the daily chart right now. There, is, there isn't a distinctive trend. Uh, market retraces have a magic candle came back down we test the support level and it just have a bit of indication right now can you see slightly side chart on the four hour chart this is the previous trend that have easy bearish run market break and close above the chart one time over here came down and have not give a very distinctive um, trend at this moment as well so uh, protection forming up a bullish the one hour chart look at the trend this was the trend that have upwards movement. Okay. Market break. And close below, close below, close below. Sell zone over here. Okay, back to daily chart. Let me share with you my analysis. Daily chart, uh, no trading opportunity uh, based on my trading rules. For our chart, um, this bearish uh, um, bad pattern to stand. In fact, there is another um, pattern that actually start to form. Have you spotted it? Low to high. Okay. The tricky part is right now it uh, does not give a, a, a very um, uh, rather distinctive setup. All right. Um, what have I done? <laughs> Okay, so it is another bullish bet in the waiting, in the making. So one thing you have to take note that uh, it is not a bet until it touches the price. I'm doing a shortcut. In fact, there are about 19 rules um, and to draw a correct bet pattern. So right now I'm using um, 17 of it and yeah, the, or rather 16 of, of the rules, um, 16, 17 of the rules um, um this uh, will be around the price that it can reverse 102 23 let's say it come down to that price um it's a potential buying opportunity over here um of course once the trade got a bit near then i'll share it with my subscriber and of course i'll give an accurate level and an estimate level all right um the uh, four bad pattern Okay. All right. The one hour chart. So one hour chart, we have something that is more immediate. Uh, would be this crap pattern. Um, it's a bit of um, um contradiction over here, where we have this support line that is uh very important. Market shouldn't break and close below. However, a crack pattern can only be formed um, at 106.76 as per rules. All right. 
um, yeah. So when you see there's a rectangle, that means the pattern, personally, I've checked all three levels. That's how you get this rectangle. Wait, you come out the come back down and of course with this arrow over here then i'll engage for my so not just that it will give me a <clears throat> it's the risk ratio it also increase the probability of the probability of the trip so that is a uh, dollar yen think closely on this <clears throat> broad trend is bearish um my take why i still trade and a counter trend trade because first um i'm a born say that my nature before i'm counter trend trading in the past 16 years ago when i see market is going high i am looking to sell when market is going low i'm looking to buy okay that's my trading nature and i love breakout trades um, the second part, or rather the second thing, is the harmonic pattern is built on on a counter trend engagement. I'm not saying that you can't use for trend trading, you can, okay? Um, but uh, the engagement of it is counter trend by nature. Um, and over the years, I find that trades that give you the best real is a risk ratio, apart from the breakout trades, which is high risk, but a good um, real is a risk ratio. Um, the other one is a counter trend trade. It will give you a great reward series ratio. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> that's that. Um, waiting for a buying opportunity over here, but definitely I will need to see some form of candle confirmation, something like this. Three bar reversal. Even with that, with this arrow, it's not everything here. Yeah? Um, but that would be a, 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 a setup I'm looking at. Um, especially it's, uh, break and close below the support below um for traders who are my students know that uh, even we miss this level based on this crack pattern we will have another pet level to enter and that give us an even better reward is to risk ratio that's what we call it updated or rather enhanced or optimized way of trading the pattern so i'm not in a hurry i have to see what i need to see over here before i engage the trade Got it. Uh, just curious if any of uh, our active subscribers are live right now um, with me, you can just punch them in and uh, trading view. Just curious. Yep. All right, so to the next pair. Euro yen on the daily chart. Uh, this is quite a junk over here, but in fact, if I tell you there's a trading opportunity over here and a pretty good one, will you believe it? Let's move out to the weekly. All right, so this is why the consolidation area over here, you can see a lot of alerts I have set. Um, personally, by looking at this candle alone, um, I don't think this week we will see any buying opportunity, perhaps the following week, okay? I do see some strong and crazy bearish movement, but that's one of my rules. If the candle come in and it does give me a good uh, confirmation, I'm I'm happy to to really check it out and engage the trade. Um, down to the four hour chart, you can see also likewise a more bearish than bullish candle setup. Uh, to the one hour chart, this is what we have. A bit of um, initial candle bringing this down the road. If this is what happened, then we have a magic candle happen um, and it's on the previous low. So I realized that there are a couple of pairs of uh, Canada Yen also have something that's similar. So it's a Yen appreciation that causes this Yen go up, it will go down, Yen go up, Canada go down. So that's one way of quick analysis uh, that I do. Um, and of course, you do observe that some of the pairs is uh, repetitive. That means I have Euro, Euro over here. Um, but I treat it pretty much individual and I see many, many times too many uh, times for me, um, so I can share that the correlation is not no longer as strong as before. So let me share a few my analysis. On the weekly chart, there's this uh, bullish bear, uh, bullish bear, bullish bear that I have. 
um, that got me all focused on, on, on the buying opportunity of this pair. Okay. So because of that, um, yeah, I am a bit like all crazy about this. Um, to the daily chart. Okay, so on the daily chart, uh, we can see that there is this uh, uh, sharp pattern. Um, we have really reached the first target. Um, second, we test that means over here is a type two. Here is a check back. Um, check back is if we have not touched the first target, it, it came down is a check back. So actually, it has actually go to the type three already. So over here, it came up, touched the targets, came down. Traders will enter again, touch the target again, and it exceeded a bit. And it came down. That's over here. Engagement is type two. This is a type three already. Right now we are having a type three check back. Okay, so let's see how it goes. Currency we can we can even go to type three. So um, let's see how it goes. Man, finger cross. So one thing you can see that is very very interesting. Even over here we have a very strong bearish candle straight down you know for days let's say it's monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday monday down again and tuesday because okay so likewise um patterns do repeat itself let's see how it goes if over here i do see a confirmation or rather a emission candle with the confirmation candle um i'll, I'll still engage the trade because the reward is to lose is just amazing down to the bottom chart uh this is what we have or bullish back pattern has went up, took up uh, target one, came back down. And guys, um, these are, are, are profits in pips that is quite a substantial one. We're talking about 200 pips. I don't know whether it's a lot or it's not a lot compared to you, but um, it's something that's pretty normal over here, um, the way we trade because uh, uh, we trade on a daily four hour and one hour chart. We're in the trade because we want to earn money and not because we just want to trade. Yeah? So um, that's one thing you really have to look into it. Um, are you in for it to earn money or just want to have fun and stuff on it? Okay, so I'm just uh, hovering the chart to check why I do have a buy zone word that appear over here. Let me just delete it. Okay, so on the one hour chart, this is what we have. Um, I, I think there was a previous buy zone and the market break and close below the low one time. Another break, it will um, bring the opportunity down or it will go the move towards the downside. Okay, so this could happen. So we really have to set aside uh, 30 minutes a day to practice. So you are able to see um, things like this. You can see trends like this. Um, and I pretty much see it right now together with you, you know. Um, of course, today I do have the time and luxury to do a um, pre-market analysis, but just now as I'm running the trades with you, or rather the charts with you, this is exactly what I see. Okay, so EJ, H1, A, B, C, D, pattern. So I can just pop it just now. Of course, there yeah, is another route, so which I'll convert it to something that looks like this later. So I'll draw something like this. Okay. As an ABCD pattern, but I'm very strict um, ABCD pattern. So let's see how it goes. Um, the advantage of this is a combination with structure and a combination. With... Let me just change it. The last thing I want is uh, for this uh, thing to have appear everywhere. So I have to make sure that uh, the, we need a correct time frame or rather a time frame that I spotted the valid time frame it will appear apart from that I don't want to see it. Okay. Right. Um the next pair. These are uh, break and close below the low price. Um over here, but let us just trace the market on the daily chart. Last bearish movement, market break above, break above over here, break close below, break close below. So it's on bearish run. Um, very similar to the pound dollar over here, you can wait for the shorting opportunity as a trend trading opportunity. So I'll be a bit patient. I'm also waiting for it. I'm also, my livelihood depends on this, but 
I just have to wait for a good um, setup before I can enter. Our marker is pretty sideways over here. It's just like doing like meow like that. <laughs> All right, so uh, we just have to wait uh, for a uh, more confirm um, either a touch uh, of the previous high for a shorting opportunity or a confirm break retracement before I engage the trade. Um, to the one hour chart, uh, this is what we have on the one hour. Nothing interesting. If you are a band trader, you love Hamon or uh, really like the ninja band, um, this uh, Hamon event is even better. Um, let us see what are the potential over here, right? So it's about 84 pips in and out. I don't mind to have this as my um, income for my daily expenses. So you can pretty much run it down pound yen. Um, one hour chart, you can trade the band. That's what I'm going to do on my whiteboard. Okay. Band trading is quite fun, um, especially if it's um, when it is a sideway movement and to treat this band definitely you need it as fast as I can so uh, uh, okay. uh, a better setup will be you have touch extreme your target is always to the opposite side of the inner line and a setup like this um, having this of course your stop loss will be outside the outer line okay so uh, 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 profits wise it will be on the other end over here okay so um, as market move it will it will move okay so you don't need to check hour by hour because it might have drastic move over um, but every day maybe you check about three times should be more than enough or if you're a bit more hardworking you can check check about six times hi Kevin all right so you can check about six times so as market move to this level your, your trade is still on but you might just have to shift your target to somewhere over here one three four six eight Okay, so over here in the market touch one three four six eight. Um, your profits for this trade. Let's say you have engaged the trade over here. The arrow appear. You wait for a pre engagement of the previous high. Manage a shot over here, and your target is um. As the market move, maybe you exited somewhere over here. Seventy nine pips. Not too bad. All right. Likewise for buying. Um, if you engage from here. Okay, after you came back and we test, because you won't want to enter the trade once it's halfway gone, right? You will go to test as long as never touch the other side. Your target will be all the way here. Market came up, have this down arrow already. Okay, let's say you have not out yet, you still hold on to the trade. Next time you come back up and we test this uh, arrow, you should exit from here. So this is so as you price one three five three five. One three five three five. Yeah, about minus one pip one. Okay, so where was the arrow is here? So maybe engage for this price. About sixty eight pips after minus the one pip. Um, so um, not too bad, right? Sixty eight pips, guys. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know about you, but this is one thing you can think about. All right. My analysis. Okay, on the daily chart, Pound Yen, um, looking for a selling opportunity over here. To the four hour chart, uh, I, I keep this selling opportunity throughout. Um, to the four hour chart, I'm waiting for a shorting opportunity over here to the one hour, anything. So, as we are loading the chart, uh, sometimes this happens. Um, just uh, do a bit of shout out. Uh, Kelvin uh, is our analyst as well. Um, Cantonese, all right. So people out there who are from Hong Kong, KL, or people Cantonese, um, you can definitely um join his session. Okay. Great. Raising high price. Um, yeah, because of the wedge respecting the trend line over here, so I have shorted the market. Uh, right now still holding to this trade. Um, because it has not given me any rules not to be in it. All right, so um, I have reshorted over here. Okay, so still waiting out. Um, running about forty plus pips profit. If I'm not wrong, maybe right now more than that, about sixty already. Um, let's do a quick measurement. Okay, eighty-one pips. Yay! Yay! 
<laughs> all right so really seriously waiting for this break of the support uh, in fact at this price i can choose to enter again can you see arrow up here magic candle i can choose to enter again at this level all right but uh i would prefer a break and close below this line uh and retracement before i enter the trade you know how i can do it i just stare at the chart you know guys 12 pairs with three time frame that's 36 time frames in total you know oh shit it's crazy for me to stare at the chart you understand so what i'll do is because i'm waiting for the extreme to happen i will draw a horizontal line over here change it to blue make sure the visibility is just one hour okay and um i'll do this it's not perfect but that's why it can have if you are even more um um you want to have a accurate level you can even set it uh, uh you can push the trend line one one pit lower um that's another way again page one great support wait for repairs to shot when i put a question mark definitely is uh, for me to reanalyze uh, when that happened all right so what i can do i can turn on the side um look at the number look at the low price okay one three four five zero um i can do one three four four nine if i want to so one three four uh, four nine okay and i only receive the alert once the candle close so not quite sure if ninja trader can do this kind of alert um, but trading view definitely can and this is one of the reasons why i subscribe to them all right so um yeah <sighs> um, yeah okay to the next pair um any of my bni friends are in this live session right now please do a shout out i'm just interested to know as well um to the next pair new zealand yen really sharp very bearish movement and over here there's a chunk of junk over here um very very bearish movement um can wait for a retest of the previous high before you can look for any aggressive shorting opportunity of course the other way is for more seasonal trader you can draw a trend line from here all the way touching as many points or even from here touching as many points as possible once a break and close below that line you can look for a shorting opportunity down to the forward chart uh forward chart is what we have okay pretty bearish huh? to the one hour chart oh amazing so we have a new cell zone over here let's see yep this is the one that would uh, have a bullish trend movement the last day of the bullish trend movement so this is a support walk up and goes below the low one time two time that so this is the new cell zone let's see if i've drawn it if not i'll be drawing it now all right on the daily chart um this is the uh bullish crap pattern um children who have engaged at the hot level wonderful if you have not uh well it's fine just wait so this is the level that i'm talking about and let me see trend line is a delicate art and it really depends on individual individual traders how, how you plot it sometimes you have to break certain rules uh, to make it to make it good um you might have to ignore some of the trend lines and this is really um the part that differentiates um one trader to another yeah so this is the art part um you just need to have a consistent practice and numbers and figures to to tell you but the way that i draw is to touch as many of the bottoms that means the low or the high as possible and as far do not cut the candles without any um unnecessary um, reason of cutting it so once this is done 
and always are linked to the take the bounce level. Okay. Um, and I'll add an alert over here likewise. Um, the, if you are using trading view to add alert, the time frame that you, you are adding alert is very important because it will be based on that timeline uh, time frame. If I is a one hour, then they will start to observe every one hour break, which that's not what I want. All right, so I make it available for me to view on other time frames. Doesn't mean that I want my alert to get triggered on every time frame. Got it? Let me just, um, I just, e. okay, then. Um, J one. Um, it's all always a good practice to key in the time frame. Yeah. So if there's any error that happened or whatsoever. Um, at least you receive a, a notification. Visibility for now, I want to see on the four hour as well. Uh, not so much for the one hour. Okay. So this happened um, since yesterday. I seen that uh, this kind of thing happened. If it happened, uh, it could be because the internet is uh, taking too much bandwidth and it can't send the order of this alert through. So yeah, if this happen again, which it did. I'll just write it on my whiteboard. Once the live session is out, um, I will set the alert in. Okay, and um, this alert will be sent through to my subscribers. So once they receive this alert, and if they are seasoned traders, they can come up with a trading rules. Okay, so since I'm going to break based off the forward chart, um. One hour, um, I've said something like aggressive sell. Um, just now, okay, let's see. Yeah, so instead of aggressive sell, it's actually a sell zone. Okay, what do I mean by aggressive sell? That means um, if I don't see any particular uh, a confirmed trend and based on the previous retracement, and if the 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 the, the trend is not in yet. Then um, it, when it doesn't have a trend and you engage a trade, um, you are a uh, higher risk compared to those who have seen a confirmed trend. Make sense? Do you? So um, let me just do a bit of adjustment. Okay. So the one uh, thing that I'm not very happy with this um, trading view is this uh, channel. Of course, the channel is not being used for this kind of purpose. Um, but uh, I use it because the rectangle can't set alert. So, yeah. So maybe I'll feedback to them and see if they can make the changes. Okay, so I always do a bit of double job over here. Okay. Um, right click, at parallel. Um, I remember there's a very issue. Okay, let's try. NJ H1 thousand. Okay. See how it goes. If it pop up again, then I'll just have to add on to my thing. Okay. Just hide the analysis. Yep, can be done. Let's see if this candle close over here this way. Um, bearish engulfing this is what we call a confirmation of a bearish setup right now with the arrow um, and of course a prefer setup on the future day setup based on the support resistance. Uh, it's good to wait for a test back to 61, 0 0.6104. Okay, so it's about 80 pips away, 70, 80 pips away. So waiting for a retracement before you short it. And of course, here will be the first level of profits and followed by here as the second level. Okay, so down to the forward chart. Forward chart, uh, this is what we have, a uh, bearish movement. Market is still within the 
bearish movement. In fact, it has a previous high. Traders will manage to short it over here along the full. Uh, traders who have not, then it's quite appealing. Um, although I, I have not engaged this trade personally, I'm waiting for a check back on this. I think it's this trade, right? I have posted to my community already yesterday under Trade Ideas Educator. Um, so if you are watching our playback, check it out. I really post it there. I even give a stop loss um, and potential target level. It's just that it's not uh, the, the, the thing that I need to see is not formed yet. That's why I have not engaged the trade. So even I shared that I engage a trade under the trade ideas, um, it's not for you to follow blindly. You just have a look of what I wrote on the um, trading view. Um, and at the same time, my entry stops and targets. Um, and from there, you make your own decision if you are going to trade. All right, so based off the daily chart, it seems like this is it. Um, my favorite setup, um, Gartley pattern, or rather deep Gartley pattern complete at X. So to many harmonic pattern traders, they don't treat this, they, they find that this is violated to me. This gives me the most perfect reward is the risk ratio. Okay. So um and based off my currency pair and the time frame I'm trading, uh, from my experience, it's one of the higher probability and higher profitability um setup to the four hour chart. Um this is a setup that I was sharing with you yesterday. So I have this confirmation. I was waiting for a retest before I engage trade. The retest never come in. All right, so at least not now yet. Um, waiting uh, for it to happen. Uh, market has go into a buy zone over here, and of course I I, I allow the power butterfly to be shown up over here. Okay. Um, as we have mentioned, the chart um was moving on a bullish trend. Okay, so. Um, let's see how you react at this zone over here. But um, as for now, I'm waiting for a check back. You can see that uh, pending order was placed and I was uh, um, waiting for a retest over here to show it. Okay, so if this trade is a miss, how do I know that this trade is a miss? Um, it went to target two. Uh, that's when you know that you missed this trade already. Of course, you can wait for a retracement back to entry, but my experience with butterfly um, once it starts charging to that's it okay to the next pair australia dollar we don't have much things over here so we go a bit faster um australia dollar on the daily chart bearish movement so i'll just share through my analysis um there is a bearish bet over here 65 68 uh, for a shorting opportunity back into the previous cell zone to the formal chart um this is what i have on the forward chart um, is it really break and close above the previous south zone. So um, let me just remove this for now. A very trend based on the daily chart is started from here. So there's no break of the trend yet. But of course, you will see that this tick over here, all right, might give us a ascending triangle setup. Let's see how it goes. Um, or rather, it's a V-shaped reversal. On um, the run chart, we have broken the very aggressive um, trend line over here. We call it the accelerated trend lines. So right now, waiting for this level uh, to really alarm off uh, to decide if you are going to uh, make any trade engagement. And you have seen that I already set an alert over here. Okay. Yep. So two ways to trade this kind of trend lines is either you wait for a buying opportunity over here or a break and close below the low. Of this trend line, a retracement, and continue for a uh, heading for a aggressive shorting opportunity. The next pair, Australia Cat, we have something over here, so we we'll walk through the time frame. Bearish movement, market break and close above the high. If you read this as one trend, then the trend is not broken yet. Okay, so bearish trend um, to the four hour chart. Based off the four chart, let's see one bearish movement over here. So trend is not broken yet. I suppose. Yep, it's not broken yet. All right. So um, some form of bearish uh, confirmation. Um, if you want a further confirmation, you might want to wait for a break and close below the low 88, 28 uh, before retracement. Really one hour chart. This is what we have. Back to daily. Let me share with you my analysis. 
So my analysis on the daily chart, there is a bullish or rather a bearish prep pattern at a much higher price. 96, 99, so it's 197 flat. So it's not the just the strategy that matters. It really depends on where the um, trading opportunity ends and, and stuff like that. So let's see about 97 level, which is somewhere over here. Do you see any support and resistance? Over here. Yep, some minor levels. Okay, so to the 4 hour chart. 4 hour chart, there was this um, sideways consolidation. Yeah, I share with you that when there's a consolidation, definitely there is a breakout. A breakout happened. So I'm waiting for a retracement. Um, back a buying opportunity, okay, minimum like a double bottom, um, for a buying opportunity as well. Okay. Do the next pair, punch them in. If not, I will just keep them for a close on dollar cut. A very descending triangle feel, right? Inverted descending triangle. All right, so um, it start to have a bit of three bar reversal over here, um, but it's quite a PV. If it fall a bit more, that will be even better. Let me share with you why. So bullish trend on the daily chart, four chart bullish trend as well because the starting point is over here. Okay, or rather the move that have this uh, bullish movement. All right, based on the one hour chart, we have a lot of. This was the support, it's not broken yet, so it's still on a bullish trend. All right, amazing dollar cap. Let, let me just share with you my analysis. So, uh, head down to the power chart, you have this bullish back pattern. Um, likewise, a uh, 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 sideways consolidation. Market did retest the high, but at the time, the previous low was here, and the reward is to risk wasn't very good. All right, so I uh, didn't engage the trade. Um, so um, it's fine. So we will just wait for another trading setup. So since this is over, uh, we can just remove it. Okay. So on the four hour, if you have seen just now, if not, I can just head back to the four hour chart. Sorry about that. All right. So to the four hour chart, you see that there's a bullish bet. That's why I say that the, the reversal came a bit too early. Um, if you come at one point three seven three one, it's better. To the one hour chart, let's see. Um, there was a butterfly, and in fact, it was uh, also almost hit a bad pattern. Um, but it just that yeah, trend line break this is what we have. Okay, so later we can have a look. Pound dollar after we are done with this and we jump the pound dollar, come back to cat, cat here. All right, so um, sadly right now um, over here this is the area that I I, I can wait for for aggressive selling opportunity. Let's see, yeah, I'm tracing you. Market to make sure. Yep, correct. This is the sell zone uh, for a shorting opportunity. So I'll be watching closely how. Um, Um, to engage for a shorting opportunity. Okay, so minimum a double top because there is, isn't any bearish harmonic pattern. So just now we have an alert uh, talking about pound dollar H1 back with the trend line. Yep, so it touches the trend line. Um, so if you don't want to receive it, it show once per bar close. Not sure if this can be sent over because just now, as you can see, we face some technical issue, right? So if it pop back up, then I have to do the change and edit later. Okay, yep, as expected. Okay, so I can just uh, just let me see. If it just disappear, I will just go and do it again. It's fine. Let's see. Double check. Let's do that. It's fine. All right. So. Um, to the second last pair, 
Canada yen, so I take it as there's no questions on now uh, trading view. Um, Canada yen bearish movement. Uh, market we test the previous high very, very nicely and it start to slip down again. I uh, can see a series of higher low candle start to appear. So won't be too surprised if you see a break towards the upside. You can draw a trend line as well. So I, I feel that this period is a lot of trend lines and support resistance, those kind of trades. For chart, bearish movement. Okay, remain bearish right now. Though we have a series of higher low thing. Down to the one hour. This is what we have from the one hour back to daily. Let me share with you my analysis. All right, so my analysis on the daily, nothing much uh, down to the four hour chart. Uh, four hour chart, um, pound cat, okay, we'll, we'll take a look. All right, so four hour chart, uh, uh, we'll take a look after pause here. Yeah? So um, these are all the support and resistance I'm looking at. The immediate support has been broken. Um, to the one hour, this is what I want to share with you. Okay, so on the one, waiting for another break to determine a sell zone. Um, but most probably I'll I'll draw a trend line over here. And for this purpose of the trend line, it can be used on our time frame. All right, so this is for me to observe if there's a break and close below. Okay, so usually I will just use one time frame, but in this case, uh, let's see on the one hour chart how the market reacts over here. Okay. Um, to the next pair, how Aussie? Seems like nothing much on that. So we we'll just share trend straight away. Very crazy uptrend movement. Uh, finally, uh, a retest of the previous support, and right now a reversal that happened. To the four hour chart, um, this is what we have. Uh, we attempt to uh, uh, engage this trade aggressively, a very tight stop. Market came down, flirt with our stops and reverse. Um, pretty normal, in fact, but uh, we have to obey our trading rules at the time. So, right now, once we have this confirmation, once the four hour candle is done, which is uh, about one hour and 45 minutes from now, I will um, wait for a retrace. Uh, or repairs of the previous low for a buying opportunity alert has been set to the one hour chart. Okay, so for traders who are looking for a selling opportunity, this is the sell zone um, that you can wait for once the alert trigger, you can hit the first shot. Okay, to the pound cap, BN Co. Are you still there? What's your thoughts of Pound Canada? You can share your analysis over here. All right, so um, Pound Dollar on the daily chart. Bearish open, above, 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 bullish trend. Last leg of the bullish trend, T1 went bullish. The first break. So right now, market do not have this distinctive trend, but based on the recent market movement, you can see it's more bearish than bullish. So what can happen at 1.7589, um, which already happened, can wait for a retest of the high for a shorting opportunity. Okay. On the 24 hour chart, there's no prevailing trend on the daily chart. So if your trend tree, very strand, last trend of the very strand happens over here. It was a bearish trend until here. Then market did a break and close above. It has not break and close above 17795. Likewise, four hours do not have a distinctive trend also. In the one hour chart. Bearish movement, bearish movement. Previous high, broken ones. So likewise on the one hour chart, there isn't any distinctive trend. So let me just uh, get my assistant to help me uh, to spot for any potential setup. Um, so if I were you, I will not trade this pair because support by choices. Uh, there are so many other things you can trade. 
that have a distinctive trend. Okay. Right now we are looking in our toolbox to see if there's any there's this arrow over here, of course, you see bearish bad pattern. But somehow we didn't pick up because the B and C point rules for myself, I need to be a three candles away. But anyway, um the software did pick this up. Amazing. Okay, if you manage and engage 7677, you have really reached your first target. So if you have to ask yourself how serious are you in, in, in trading you know? So this is 352 pips no? Stop loss 330 pips Because of the volatility So if you have Pound Canada on your list Then I would say that it's good not to trade Pound Australia, Pound Frank, Pound New Zealand Yeah, so Pound Dollar is Definitely the most gentle throughout all the other pound pairs on my talking about the eight main majors. Pound yen slightly bigger volume, volatility. Pound Australia move as crazy as other of its um five other siblings. Alright. So um take note you only choose one of the five siblings. Okay, so oh, I, I choose pound Australia, so that's why I want to trade pound cat. Okay, but Kelvin over here, he do analysis on pound cat as well. Um, so it's a trend over pips, you know. So if you trade a wise line contract, it's $3,000. And you find that it is helpful, you can check out the link at the, on top because right now we do include the online education that we will teach you how to help people with these pits. Uh, okay, so... Um, see, this is a smaller back pattern. Uh, just target one so guys um if you are trading harmonic and um that's only provided you are equipped with the right knowledge okay and um you know about structure trading anymore please. you can pretty much once you see this right that happen you can draw a line over over here okay and you can draw another line over here at the target one okay of course when you see that this kind of double top happen you can drag it higher once it happen and you observe from there so it start to bounce off all right bounce off close enough run back up short because of this arrow you can shot over here target still here so you hit this level okay so let us see. First time you hit right, 90 over pips. Second time you miss. So you miss by a bit. Alright, but if you don't disturb it or you only manage to enter over here, alright, and 14 pips one time, buy up, arrow up, buy up two time, three time, four time. Is this good or good? Four times four one four, how much do you earn? Four hundred and four hundred and fifty six pips plus the first ninety pips is six hundred and forty pips. All right, just with the same entry stops and targets. All right, so wow, why are you shorting pound cat at one point seven one and you are still in the trade? You shot from here and you're seeing the trade. Why is that so? You know, this is uh, one of the very common thing that uh, happen. Um, if you don't mind, I'll just share a bit. Please um, don't take it personally. Um, and I'll applaud you for the courage of uh, sharing. Um, trade not engaged yet. Oh, your short target. Great, 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 great. Then uh, that's great, that's great. Uh, that actually brought me to, 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 to share on one of the things is um, a lot of people, definitely not you, um, um, is uh, looking to learn online and stuff like that and try to figure out. Well, I started off pretty early. I started off 05 at that period. Uh, 
in my area or my region, forex trading is not something that is very popular. In fact, I have to really look for the solution or rather the methods and the opportunity to trade um, <laughs> um, currency. And now I didn't know it's forex, you know. So I I I I self taught. Uh, took me about two three years to figure it out how to trade a bit here and there. Then uh, there about people started to ask me if I, uh, yeah. So people started to ask me if I conduct. Uh, do I have a forum or stuff like that? Then I start to do this uh, sharing of my trades. At the time, I had really charged two hundred USD. Um, and three years ago, I restart this again. You know. So whatever I'm doing right now is I start to reflect how I started off um, 12 years ago, running as a business, 16 years ago I started trading. So I've been doing this for a bit. So if you ask me, I really wish to have a community that have trainers that are supportive and helping me through the, the lesson and learning and stuff like that. Um, yeah, all right. So uh, yeah, that's that. All right, wait, wait, wait. Um, yeah, so for currency pairs that do not have an obvious trend, um, the bad thing about it is, let's say you are shorting or you are buying, you can find a support resistance zone, that's for sure, or, or at a minimum a support and resistance line, that's for sure, but you cannot extend your trades because you do not have a distinctive trend. The good thing about it is if the market do not have a distinctive trend, but it still over um, between a support and resistance level, okay, that is when you can trade in and out as a sideway. Okay, got it? Yeah, it's okay. Maybe due to the connection software whatsoever. All right, so um, if you didn't catch that, you can um, watch it on our Facebook. Um, I will be placing uh, uh, this um, playback um, tomorrow. Um, yeah. Playback of the recording session. Say a bit earlier for you guys. I'll set uh, 9 a.m. Um, GMT for you guys. Okay. So if you are on my YouTube channel, then it will be um tonight you received it. Yeah. Okay. So guys, that's all I have for you. Uh, today we are running uh, one hour and twelve minutes. I find that is quite a good duration. Um, during this period, COVID nineteen. Um, for those who have missed uh, earlier parts of the video, like to do a quick shout out. We do include a one day course. Um, we are able to teach people how to trade efficiently and effectively uh, within a day. Um, that uh, this uh, uh, within a day, and this is a course that we started off in 2018. So it was a course that uh, I, I'm charging at 1.98 USD, but during this COVID 19, I'll put it as an inclusive training for those who are our active subscriber on uh, Trade Ideas package. So check out my link on number three. All right, so um, grab that fast. It comes with a software. All these uh, additional costs we bear it because it's our way of saying thank you for supporting us for more than a decade. Um, and this is what we are going to do for you. Not quite sure the online training uh, we will extend to new subscriber until which date, but um, um right now is is still active here yeah? so click the link complete registration and looking forward to seeing the competition see you guys